In most cells, the osmotic pressure of the cytosol inside the cell is nearly equal to the osmotic pressure of the extracellular fluid outside the cell. So there is no major change to a cell's volume because the pressures are about the same on either side of the membrane. There is just as much water entering a cell as there is leaving it. But cell volume and shape can change when the fluid environment surrounding a cell has a different osmotic pressure than the cell cytosol. For example, if more water moves into a cell, its volume and pressure will increase and the cell may burst. If more water moves out of a cell, its volume and pressure will decrease and its membrane will shrink. A cell's water balance in different solutions relates to the concept of tonicity. Tonicity is the measure of a solution's ability to change cell volume by increasing or decreasing the water content in a cell. There are three different situations that cells can find themselves in regarding tonicity. Isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic. Isotonic is when the cell cytoplasm and its surrounding solution have the same solute concentration. Hypotonic is when the surrounding solution has a lower solute concentration than the cell cytoplasm. Hypertonic is when the surrounding solution has a higher solute concentration than the cell cytoplasm. It's important to emphasize that these three terms describe the extracellular fluid environment that surrounds a cell, such as interstitial fluid, tissue fluid, or blood plasma. Let's use red blood cells as models to illustrate tonicity. An isotonic solution has a solute concentration equal to the cell cytoplasm. The prefix iso means the same. A standard physiological saline or salt solution is isotonic to red blood cells. It is measured as 0.9% sodium chloride, the same salt concentration inside a red blood cell. In isotonic solutions, water moves by osmosis into and out of the cell at the same rate. There is no net movement of water in either direction. So as a result, the cell experiences no change in volume or shape. The concentration of salt is the same on both sides of the membrane. Remember, just like the YouTube model example, Water is able to move across the selectively permeable membrane of the red blood cell, but salt cannot. Blood plasma that is isotonic to red blood cells creates a healthy physiological environment where the normal biconcave disc shape of the red blood cells is maintained, allowing the cells to flow through blood vessels and deliver oxygen to tissues. The concept of tonicity is also important from a clinical perspective, which is why patients are administered intravenous or IV fluids that are isotonic to blood plasma. You may be familiar with IV solutions like isotonic saline, having a salt concentration of 0.9% equal to the red blood cell. What happens to red blood cells in a hypotonic solution having a lower solute concentration? The prefix hypo means under or lower, like a hypodermic needle punctures under the skin. For this situation, let's place the cells in an extremely low concentration solution, like distilled water, which contains no dissolved salts, 0% sodium chloride. Remember that the cell still maintains its 0.9% salt concentration. Water will move by osmosis from the area of low solutes or high water concentration outside the cell, the distilled water, to the higher solutes or lower water concentration inside the cell. Water is also moving out of the cell, but the net movement of water will be into the cell. As a result, the volume of the red blood cell increases as it fills up and swells like a water balloon. It loses its biconcave dish shape and may ultimately undergo hemolysis, where the cell membrane ruptures, causing the cell to burst. You can remember hypotonic by the rhyme, 
hypo is low, and the letter O in hypo resembles the shape of the swollen red blood cell. The third and final type of tonicity, hypertonic, occurs when the surrounding solution has a higher solute concentration than the cell cytoplasm. The prefix hyper means over or higher. In our example, let's say the blood plasma has a 2% sodium chloride concentration, which is higher than the 0.9% salt concentration inside the red blood cell. Water will now move by osmosis from the area of low solutes or high water concentration inside the cell to the higher solutes or lower water concentration outside the cell. Water is also moving into the cell, but the net movement of water will be out of the cell. As a result, the volume of the red blood cell decreases and the cell begins to shrink and shrivel like a raisin in a process called crenation. The membrane surface area decreases, which reduces its hemoglobin and the amount of oxygen it can transport. As the membrane contracts, the cell takes on an irregular, jagged shape, causing it to get snagged in capillaries and valves, creating blood flow problems and reduced oxygen delivery. This is the danger of what can happen to a person lost at sea, who ends up dehydrated and forced to drink salt water, a hypertonic solution relative to blood plasma. Dehydration occurs faster when blood plasma becomes increasingly hypertonic, causing cells to lose more water, resulting in more frequent urination and red blood cell crenation.